rewriting the rules we thought were set in stone. That is exactly what has happened with 3i Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar visitor to our solar system. The announcement rippled through the scientific world. NASA and Harvard have just confirmed that 3Y Atlas is on a collision course with Mars. What had been a speculative possibility now carries the weight of observational certainty. This interstellar visitor, a comet unlike any ordinary solar system wanderer, is headed straight toward the red planet. It's an event of staggering implications, one that opens an eerie and powerful new chapter in planetary science. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. It began as a whisper in the data, small anomalies in orbital predictions, slight deviations that didn't quite square with prior models. Observatories across Earth and space began to focus in, refining trajectories, timing occultations, and gathering every spectroscopic clue they could about 3i Atlas. Gradually, the path sharpened, the margins of error fell away, and the inescapable conclusion emerged. Unless something intervenes, 3i Atlas will strike Mars. The object itself is already fascinating. As the third confirmed interstellar body to traverse our solar system, following Oumuamua and 2i Borisov, 3i Atlas carries in its orbit the heritage of a far-flung cosmic journey. It plunges into our system with exceptional speed, nearly 58 kilometers per s relative to the sun, and with a hyperbolic trajectory that ensures it is not gravitationally bound here. Its inclination is modestly tilted from the ecliptic plane, and in its path it crosses the orbital domain of Mars, though until now analysts held that it would pass at a safe distance. But the new data show that safe distance may no longer be the operative phrase. Viewed through telescopes, 3i Atlas manifests as a comet, a nucleus shrouded in a coma of gas and dust, releasing volatile materials as solar heating intensifies. Observations across the electromagnetic spectrum, from ultraviolet to infrared and visible light, have detected emissions of carbon dioxide, water vapor, trace gases, and a dust tail. In recent images, the comet has even begun to take on a greenish hue, hinting at evolving chemistry under solar irradiation. These features are consistent with cometary activity, but as the object accelerates into the inner solar system, the rate of sublimation and dust ejection will escalate, destabilizing its motion and possibly altering its precise course. Now, with collision confirmed, the stakes rise astronomically. A strike on Mars by 3Y Atlas is not the kind of event one stages in a science fiction plot. It is a near impossible observational opportunity with consequences that reach far beyond a simple impact flash. The dynamics of the collision, the nature of the object, and the geological and atmospheric response of Mars combine to form a singular cosmic experiment. The kinetic energy involved would be truly staggering. At tens of kilometers per second, the impact would release energy orders of magnitude beyond even the most powerful human made explosions. For an object of even modest size, say a few kilometers, the drastic release of energy would excavate a huge crater, inject vast amounts of debris into Martian space, and generate shocks reverberating deep beneath the surface. The region of impact could experience melting, vaporization of both projectile and target rock, and possibly transient vapor plumes into the thin atmosphere. Even Mars's lower gravity and thin air cannot fully absorb or dampen such enormous energy. The disturbance would propagate outward in waves of seismic, thermal, and atmospheric disruption. Because 3i Atlas is interstellar, its composition might deviate in subtle or dramatic ways from local solar system bodies. It might carry exotic isotopic ratios, volatile ices rarely seen near Mars, or chemical markers formed in a very different environment. That means the impactor is not just a cosmic bullet, it is a messenger. Whatever survives or is dispersed in the collision, whether vaporized or fragmented, becomes prime material for analysis. Ejecta would expand outward, potentially reaching or interacting with Martian satellites, or even injecting traces into Mars's tenuous exosphere. Instruments orbiting Mars, or even missions en route, could sample these fragments, measuring composition, dynamics, and interaction with solar wind. The collision also offers a chance to test planetary defense science in a new regime. Every mission to deflect or observe near-Earth objects builds toward understanding how objects behave under stress. Here, by direct collision, nature offers one extreme case of hypervelocity collision between a truly alien object and a planetary body. Observatories on Mars, orbiters, even telescopes back on Earth could monitor the plume, the shock wave, and the transient cloud of particles. The interaction between plume material and the Martian atmosphere might reveal unexpected chemistry or ionization phenomena, an ephemeral sheath of plasma 
a temporary glow in the sky as dust and gas expand. In short, the collision becomes a live testbed for models of impact physics in unfamiliar regimes. One of the most profound implications lies in the possible origin of 3I Atlas itself. Because it is interstellar, it likely came from a star system far beyond, possibly from the thick disk of the Milky Way at cosmic noon, a formative era of star and planet formation billions of years ago. If we can analyze fragments or remnants from the Martian impact, we might glimpse the building blocks of alien planetary systems, compare isotopic ratios, volatile inventories, and composite minerals, holding a mirror to our own solar system's early days. In that sense, Mars becomes an inadvertent cosmic collection dish. A collision of this magnitude also reshapes our understanding of the risk landscape in the solar system. Until now, most focus has centered on Earth-crossing asteroids and comets. But here is a case where an interstellar object, not gravitationally bound to the Sun, nevertheless intrudes deeply, crossing planets and striking one. It forces us to expand our threat models and reassess how we track and characterize interstellar interlopers. Perhaps we must cultivate observatories specifically tuned to detect hyperbolic trajectories earlier. With higher cadence, better sensitivity, and predictive capabilities that allow for intervention or preparation. Though Earth is safe in this particular scenario, 3I Atlas's orbit does not bring it close to Earth, so no direct danger looms. The lessons are global. If an object of similar origin or trajectory were slightly deflected, it might target Earth in another case. The fact that interstellar comets can penetrate deeply and strike planets even in a well-observed system reframes the cosmic hazard environment. It underlines the need for vigilant observation across the entire celestial sphere, not just near-Earth corridors. Within the scientific community, the collision is already galvanizing mission proposals. Could a flyby or interceptor be positioned in time to catch ejecta? Could Mars orbiters pivot instruments to monitor the moment of impact in detail? Some older spacecraft may already be in advantageous positions. As the collision time approaches, mission operations teams will scramble to optimize data capture. High-speed cameras, spectrometers, dust detectors, plasma analyzers, all angled toward the impact zone, all ready to seize fleeting signals that last minutes, hours, days. Because the impact is occurring on Mars, a planet with its own geological layers, crustal history, and possibly subsurface ice or water, the collision's effects could shed light on Mars's internal structure. By observing seismic waves or by mapping the subsurface recoil from the blast, scientists might refine models of Mars's crust and mantle, thermal anomalies, propagated heat, shock metamorphism, everything that propagates through the planet in the wake of impact can whisper secrets about its internal composition and layering. Moreover, a large impact might transiently alter Mars's atmosphere or release volatiles from within. Dust lifted into high altitude could temporarily shift temperature gradients, affect circulation or seed chemical reactions. Molecules ejected upward might be ionized by solar radiation, contributing to a short-lived ionosphere disturbance. Cascading interactions between ejected material and solar wind particles, magnetospheric phenomena, and charged dust dynamics could be tracked by orbiters and ground stations on Earth. The planet's response becomes part of the experiment. On a broader vantage, the collision forces us to reconsider the frequency of such cosmic intruders. If 3I Atlas can come this close, align its path to intersect with a planet and actually strike, then the universe is more dynamic and perhaps more dangerous than we had assumed. Our catalog of transients must expand. Our telescopes must push deeper, faster, and with more breadth. The urgency of early detection, rapid orbit correction or deflection, and impact readiness rises. What was once speculative becomes essential infrastructure for planetary security. There is also a philosophical resonance in this moment. A visitor from beyond, born in alien space, journeying through the void for perhaps billions of years, ends its traverse here by colliding with a planet in our solar neighborhood. It underscores how connected our tiny planetary system is with the broader galaxy. The fate of a distant fragment wandering through interstellar space becomes entangled with the geological destiny of another world. The cosmos is not distant. It is intrusive, immediate, and capable of delivering both wonder and violence. The confirmation also sparks dramatic public imagination. The idea that an object from another star system might smack into Mars evokes both awe and dread. Media, policymakers, and educators will seize on its symbolism. That we inhabit a galaxy in motion. That the calm sky above conceals unseen perils. That our ambitions to explore, colonize, and understand must cut end with cosmic chance. 
The social impulse will be to frame this as an impending disaster or a spectacular cosmic show, and the line between science and spectacle may blur. Yet scientists must balance responsibility and curiosity, guarding against alarmism while embracing the extraordinary opportunity to glean data that would otherwise remain out of reach. Less visible but equally vital is how this collision may reshape future mission planning. Space agencies may accelerate development of rapid response interceptors or flyby probes, akin to planetary defense rockets, but for interstellar targets. Infrastructure for relaying high-speed data, modular instruments designed for last-minute deployment, and computational capacity for fast-turn orbit recalculations will all gain priority. The success or failure of upcoming observations around the Mars strike could become a benchmark for how prepared humanity is for cosmic surprises. As the collision approaches, debates will sharpen. Will the object fragment before impact, perhaps detonating in a cascade of sub-impacts rather than a single strike? Will sublimation and outgassing alter its trajectory enough to deflect it from a direct hit? Could Mars orbiters detect early signs of trajectory drift and send course corrections or warnings? Each of these uncertainties becomes a live question, integrating orbital mechanics, thermodynamics, comet physics, and mission operations into a tense countdown. Scientists will be revisiting the margins of error, rechecking data, refining models, hoping for surprises that mitigate damage or grant observational advantage. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on NASA and Harvard confirming 3i Atlas heading toward Mars? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.